as I was getting ready to film this video, I put two different pairs of glasses on at once. That's how tired I am. <laughs> well, hello, hello, hello. Hi, let's take one off. Today is the 16th of July, 2020. Hairband, or not to wear a hairband, greasy hair. Don't know, don't know, ah. This might come across a bit strange, but right now I don't really know what is me. <laughs> Some of you may relate to this feeling of spending so much of your life wearing a uniform of some kind. So when it comes to actually dressing as yourself, not only do you not recognise your wardrobe because you barely go in there, but you just don't know what is you. I digress. Here I am. I've no idea if this is me or not, but you got it. A plane? See, even that feels a rarity. It's been so nice in lockdown not hearing planes. As you can tell, I kind of am in a funny mood. <laughs> hmm. I am so tired. I'm just shattered. So for me, my life restarted on the 12th of June. For me in particular, here we go, the sob story. <laughs> At the start of March, I had four jobs on the go. Across lockdown, my life sort of went this is complex. I'm summarising, summarising, summarising. So the job that I was supposed to have left at Easter ended up being the only job that I've been able to go back to as of yet. I've been back over a month and I am working my arse off. The job I have primarily works on overtime, so I've been trying to get as much as I possibly can, preferably at night and in the mornings, because in all honesty, I think that things are not safe right now and I feel safer working when there's no customers around. At the moment, I'm tending to get up about 4 or 5 a.m. I start work at 5.30, 6.30 a.m. I come home and I'm whacked out, <laughs> emotionally, physically, mentally. <laughs> I do realise that, especially on other social media, I keep talking about work and working hard. I've been put down so much the last two years for the type of work I've done, and I'm dealing with so much in my job as well. Retail staff are seen to be the bottom of the pile, we are the ones that everyone likes to hate. Which leads me on to my next thing, and that is masks. So right now, it's not compulsory to wear a mask. It will be on the 24th of July, not yet. In my opinion, it should have been like that from as early as possible, but for me, that's made me feel a lot better. Yeah. I'm dancing around a lot of things here. Ah. <laughs> uh. I realise it's far more complicated than this, but if I had a choice right now, I would shut everything that is non-essential down. And it is stressful because for many of us, especially those that have been working throughout lockdown, we don't have a choice to work from home. I don't have a choice to stay indoors and protect myself. I don't want to go outside, I don't want to engage with anyone, I don't want to be in a situation whereby I am surrounded by people that I don't know, that don't care about what's going on. Yes, there's things I would like to do, and COVID is negatively impacting my career, if I have one, and so I am desperate to do things that require me to go out into the world, but at the same time, I just want to isolate until 2021. I just want to stay here, but I can't. <laughs> I do realise that people have had this worse. I'm aware. <laughs> and despite this sort of attitude I've got today, I am very happy about something quite specific that's happened this week. An internship I applied for said yes. <laughs> Tears streaming down my face. I cannot express my gratitude for this opportunity. This is so important to me. It's a digital marketing slash social media online content creator position. It's one of those jobs where it's fluid, which is why I love it, and they have been so supportive thus far, like to find an internship that allows me to work alongside in other jobs. There's so many different internships I've been applying to and things I still want to do, and I feel lucky to have anything at this point in time. I have dreams, but I think we need to take things as they come. So not only am I working my ass off in one job currently, but I'm now trying to squidge in an unpaid internship. And then in 10 days time, my second job starts. So I will be balancing two jobs and an unpaid internship. I will more or less be working every single day of the week. I am determined to make this work. I have balanced four jobs. I can, I can do this. 
I know I can do this because I literally have it at the start of my calendar. I've worked part-time jobs, weekend jobs. I have worked what you would call a nine to five job. It was more 8.30 till six and then loads of evening weekend work. But for a long time now, I haven't been in a permanent contract. It's either been temporary, so fixed time contracts or rolling contracts, and I can't plan ahead. And even the permanent work I've had is part time, so there is no security for me in here because I still have to source an extra 500 quid somewhere else. So I end up balancing more than one job. One day, one day I would love to work in a singular job on a permanent basis, maybe do some freelancing on the side, but have that concrete position, preferably in something creative like publishing or a designer or illustrator. I mean, I'm heading that way. I'm enjoying creating on this far more than creating videos. Drawing makes me so happy and I've been doing so much. It's gonna be too dark, but last night I finished this. I want to illustrate. Life sucks sometimes. And I think as a content creator, I have definitely showcased that over the years. My life never really seems to, I keep being told how awesome I am or how I'm gonna do great things. Not that that inflates my ego because as you know, I suffer low self-esteem and other issues, blah, 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 blah. But I definitely feel as though I've never, I've always, I am a mixed bag right now. Just plodding along, trying to earn as much as I can to pay the bills that I can and think further ahead because the situation I'm in right now is not gonna be a constant. Something's gonna have to give by September. So I'm already stressing in that regard. I can't relax right now, despite the happy things that I've got, because I'm already thinking ahead. My mum keeps telling me to calm down and see how things go, but for me, I suffer with anxiety and I'm a worrier. I can't relax. <sighs> I feel like crying. I'm also struggling to cry at the moment. I get teary, but <sighs> since my breakup, I've just been unable to... Normally at this point I would end with an apology as to how I've come across or I hope everything's made sense. Not doing that today, because this is the truth. This is how I am, she says. This is how I am when there's no one around. When I'm at work, I put my mask on. I mask the entire day. I'm known at work for being the most optimistic and happy and motivational person there is. I've got a reputation. And then in my internship, I am genuinely happy but I definitely put on this persona that I struggle to maintain because it takes so much energy. This is leading on to something else that is in the background of everything I've been struggling with for a long time. <sighs> I'm a good masker. I'm trying my best. I'm gonna get through. Things are not as bad as they have been. Never be ashamed of the life you're living. Do what you can to get by. Everyone's life is entirely different. The internet paints a picture that is not necessarily the truth. Don't compare, work hard. I didn't mean this vlog to go in the direction it has. I just think I'm dealing with so much that it's just come out. So just look after yourselves and do the best that you can. Right, I'm gonna dust myself down. I'm gonna do some work this afternoon. Right, I will see you later. Bye.